What's good, what's good, my people? Y'all know what it is, y'all know who it is. Let's get into this. So, Disney has decided that they will be implementing and, 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 and including more gay characters and gay storylines in their movies and in pretty much everything they do. A lot of the new characters, a lot of the new movies that they have will have gay storylines or, or, or gay characters. And uh, some of the some of the shows that you might have, if you have young children like my son, like I do, um, they are going to be pushing it into these shows like Puppy Pals and and a couple other ones. Um, how do I know this? Because I saw leaked footage of big wigs at Disney talking about this specifically and saying that this is what they're going to push. They are going to be pushing this agenda and they're going to be pushing it to the youth, the young, the little ones. Because let's face it, I mean, once you're like 10 years old, you're not really watching Disney like that anymore. You know, you might, I don't know. Um, but this is aimed towards the real little ones, like the six-year-olds, the five-year-olds, and, and, and so on and so forth, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, two-year-olds. That's who they're going to be trying to push this towards. And uh, I have no problem with an adult choosing to live in their truth, as they say, or uh, going to support uh, other gay causes or going to watch a gay movie or having gay values, whatever the case may be, I have no problem with that. I have no issue with grown ass people doing what they want. As long as it's not hurting or affecting me or, or hurting or affecting anybody for that matter. Do what you want. But when you have Disney, who is probably the most uh, powerful company as far as entertainment for children goes in the world, pushing this uh, this agenda towards and aimed towards young children, towards our children. It's it, to me, it it really it rubs me the wrong way. It's just it, it, I just feel like it's wrong. Um, kids are innocent. Kids are very impressionable. Um, you know, there is a reason why they're doing this. You know, they're doing this because they want they they say that they want to. You know, I guess they want to. You know, the kids to have to be able to. You know. Um, everybody to be included and have inclusion and nobody to be feeling left out and all that shit. And that's all fine and dandy. But we don't have to have these awkward and weird conversations with our children at three years old. I don't think that's the time or that's the age that you should expose children to these sort of uh, issues. Disney is basically bringing politics into their their uh, their movies and uh, and their shows and, and and so on and so forth, and it's not right. And these kids, kids don't know shit about none of that when they're two and three and four years old, or even six or seven. Like, I remember, you know, your parents would probably put you to the side at your, at, you know, and have the birds and the bees con conversation with you probably around twelve years old, thirteen years, you know, somewhere around there. You know, when they start figuring that, you know, you're you're starting to be interested in the opposite sex and you're probably going to act on it. Or you're, even if you're, I don't know, if you're interested in just sex, period, whether it be with the opposite sex or with the same sex, whatever you, whatever floats your boat. But, um, yeah, it was never a conversation that was needed to have at four or five years old. Um, you never had to, you know, really explain to a four or five year old who they were or why this was going on and all that because kids at that age are innocent. Kids at that age don't know really much of anything except for what they like, which is, you know, they like toys, they like, you know, um, TV, they like playing and, you know, running around with their they friends and there's not really much to their thought process. They don't, they can't really, you know, think or understand things of that magnitude at that age. So for them to be pushing it to them is kind of like, like I said, it's just, it's, it's scary. It is. Me personally, I'll tell you this much. I mean, 
going forward now, if I do let my children watch Disney movies, I'm going to have to really look into them and see what kind of content and what kind of things they're pushing or trying to, you know, expose my, my young children to. Um, and I think you should too. I mean, if you have the, if you, if you have core values, like I, like I do, as far as like, you know, I don't, I'm not homophobic. I know people say, well, yeah, well, you must be, I'm not homophobic. I have been around a lot of gay people and it's, it's fine. As long as like I've worked alongside gay people, I've done all type of shit. Um, and you know, it's never bothered me because they've, the people that I've worked with or that I've been around have always been respectful and they've always understood that they believe and they, they like what they like. I like what I like, you know, and we could keep it at a respect, respectable point. I never called them a faggot or none of that other shit. I never went in on nobody like that because there was no need to. We all had a mutual respect as people, as human beings, and that's how we should keep it. Um... But I will say that I do not want my kids exposed to these sort of topics and this, this, these, these politics, because that's what it really is, politics, um, at, a, at an early age like that. They have no, it has no place in a Disney movie, you know. Um, it's just, like I said, Disney is by far the most, the well, the most well-known and um, famous children entertainment company in the world and this is definitely this is definitely disturbing and and it's just unfortunate that in today's age we owe every component every every part of life has a political component about it even in sports you go you watch your sports then you got colin kaepernick kneeling down you got you know people wearing shit on their jerseys and all that it's like yo I'm not watching a football game, a basketball game, a baseball game. I don't give a fuck what Derek Jeter thinks about, you know, his his political stances and Colin Kaepernick. And I'm not here for that. I'm here to watch a football game, a basketball game, a baseball game, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that's what the, the same thing as Disney. When I watch Disney, I don't want to be, I don't give a fuck about what the producer or the director's political standpoints are I, you know we're this for the entertainment of children um and that's it you know what i mean so like i said man y'all beware um this is what's going on this is what they're going to be pushing and uh if you care enough and and you feel that you know it's wrong then i advise you to do what i'm going to do and probably screen these these movies and these shows before I let my children sit down and watch them. Y'all be good out there. Till the next time. Peace.